Hi guys, I'm Aaron and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Facts. In each episode, we're going to ask our friends all over the world about facts they really want to know. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Hello, I am Naomi, I am seven, and I live in Montreal. I want to ask why we have to live from the year 2019 to 2020, but not from 2020 to 2019. Thank you. Thank you, Naomi, for this wonderful question. So Naomi's question is, what is time and how we count it? Why don't we discover some mysterious facts about time counting? If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Fact number one, who started counting time? From the observation of the stars, the Egyptians have been the first to count annual periods and also the pioneers in creating 12 subdivisions of time based on seasons. Greek historian and geographer Herodotus wrote on this ability of so-called time masters in 3 BC. Fact number two, how long is a day? As the world turns, spinning on its axis, it twirls ever the world and then away from the sun. Always coming full circle on itself, this perpetual period produces alternating periods of darkness and light. One complete rotation of the earth is accomplished in 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. That is called a day. Fact number three, how long is a month? The moon circles the earth, spinning as it goes. The sun has reflected off its satellite face, mirroring the brilliant magma. We can easily perceive this circle as we watch the slenderest of silver crescent, growing by degrees and girth to become a shining full light disc. Then in reverse, facing back again into the black. A complete moon cycle takes 29 days, 12 hours, 44 minutes, and 28 seconds. That is a month. Fact number four. How long is a year? The Earth itself, a satellite, orbits around the sun, coming closer, retreating, touting, first one pole, then the other, towards the energetic heat at the center of the universe. This revolution around the mother star results in the seasons. One orbit takes 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds. That is a year. Fact number 5. What is a solar year? Even though the standard calendar year is 365 days, it actually takes 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds to go completely around the sun. This is called a solar year, you may be asking. The solar year is not a full 365 days. So what about the rest of the time? Fact number 6. What is a leap year? In order to keep the calendar cycle synchronized with the season, one extra day is usually added every four years. As February 29th, in 365 day years, known as common years, fixed dates advance one day in the week per year. For example, Christmas fell on a Tuesday in 2018 and on a Wednesday in 2019. With the insertion of a leap day, dates advance two days, so this year, 2020, is a leap year. Now, can you guess which day is Christmas this year? You're right. Instead of a Thursday, it's a Friday. Fact number seven. Understand A, D, and B, C. The idea of 
counting years has been around for as long as we have written records. But the idea of syncing up where everyone starts counting is relatively new. The international standard is to designate years based on a traditional reckoning of the year Jesus was born, the AD and BC system. AD stands for Anno Domini, it's Latin for in the year of the Lord and refers to the birth of Jesus Christ. BC stands for before Christ. In English, it's common for AD to precede the year. So that the translation of AD 2014 would read in the year of our Lord 2014. Fact number eight. If we use the concept of AD and BC, does that mean Jesus was born in the year of zero? The answer is no. Jesus was born before 4 BC. Fact number nine. So is there a year zero? Unfortunately, there is no year zero because ancient Greek didn't believe zero existed. In our calendar, AD 1 follows right after 1 BC with no year zero. So a person who was born in 10 BC and died in AD 10 would have died at the age of 19, not 20. Fact number 10, spread of the system. The BC AD system gained in popularity in the 9th century. By the 15th century, all of Western Europe have adopted the BC AD system. The system's inclusion was implicit in the 16th century. Introduction of the Gregorian calendar. So Naomi, now you understand People were counting backwards before Christ's years. For example, 2020 BC to 2019 BC to 2018 BC, all the way to 1 BC. But after 80 years, we count forward. So it would be AD 2019, then AD 2020. Thank you, Naomi, for this question. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. There's a lot of terminologies in time. And thanks to Naomi, now we know a little bit more how humans count time. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and leave a comment. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Peace.